wanted to show you my 2013 Husqvarna TE511 and just show you some of the little modifications that I did. Check it out. All nice and clean from yesterday's ride. And everything's pretty much the same up front. I added a little tugger strap for the forks just in case I got into trouble. I went with the plastic uh, hand guards. They've actually been holding up really well. Quite a bit lighter than the aluminum ones. This is my little catch can oil overflow. I'll show you on the other side. <clears throat> Basically, I just took the oil burp hose and I put a reducer on it up above the plastic there. And I also put a little breather hose or hose, sorry, on the air filter drain hole. And I got a little Y from the local automotive uh, shop put the two together and that little hose just drains to the other side and I empty that about it never gets more than about yay full and I just empty it when I change my oil uh, I'm thinking most of the stuff that winds up in here is oil from the air filter um, as I get closer towards the uh, oil change interval, I'll get a little bit more burping and a little bit more oil in there, but um, it doesn't add any weight and keeps it off the ground, so that's what I've done with that. Haven't really changed too much, otherwise it's pretty much still stock. Change to the Moto's Tractionator ST. Uh, I think I have probably 800 to 1,000 kilometers of off-roading and some on-roading on this tire and it's still actually in pretty good shape. I'll probably just flip it around to the rain side and then just use the rest of it up. Up top, what I did do is I changed out these little tabs that are in the ends of these hand guards. The little alloy one gets pretty uh, soft and so what I've done is just taken and made one out of steel. This one's not quite finished yet and just slid it in here and holds up way better as far as <laughs> falling over which I do on a regular basis. Uh, on this side let me see, I added the FMF power core and didn't change the header or anything. And went with the race map 2 mapping underneath. And this baby's pretty sweet. I took the uh, rear fender um, plate down and I've also taken the lights off. Uh, same with the front, I took the front lights off and the mirrors of course and uh, it's been awesome so far. I did add the uh, radiator guards, I should show you. I added the radiator guards a little bit late as this is the radiator that it's replacing. <laughs> A little bit wonky. No leaks though, it never leaked. But after this happened, <laughs> I got the rad guards, which is, I guess, normal <laughs> uh, order of things. Um, and uh, let's see. Oh, I did change the <sighs> routing of the horn. You can see I put the horn just up here under the uh, number plate or headlight as opposed to just keeping it front in front of the rad um, I thought more airflow would it doesn't really probably make a big difference but anyway that's another little thing that I did and
there you have it. My baby.